before you do anything, you got to get a permit. There's basically three campgrounds to get a permit at, and that's it's either Cottonwood where I stayed, Bright Angel, or uh, the Indian Gardens. The, the one that makes the most sense is Bright Angel. So you're going to want to find the NPS.gov Grand Canyon site. That's pretty easy. And then you're going to navigate to Backcountry Permit section. And then you're going to want to find the uh, corridor section, the corridor availability report. And you go there, and that's updated like at the first of every month. And it tells you what uh, campsites are available, and there's a little key at the bottom. But the, the key is you have to put in for these about three months in advance. Well, really, if you want like Bright Angel, it's got to be like a year in advance. I just happened to do it 30 days out and it was no problem. Then you have to, if you're not gonna bring two cars, you have to get a shuttle, and I use Trans Canyon Shuttle. To my knowledge, it's the only shuttle that exists. So uh, they'll help you out, it's about 90 bucks. Then you get your permit, and if you're like me, they tell you it's an aggressive t itinerary. <laughs> I'm starting on the north rim. Uh, this is Bright Angel Point. And it's, um, it's pretty incredible. Check this out. And then I don't know if you can see, but there's a pretty huge waterfall. It's pretty crazy. Oh. And I guess eventually we'll get over there. This is uh, Roaring Springs, I believe, but it's, it's a pretty significant river. It's definitely not the Colorado, though. And uh, I, there's some sort of structure down there. I'm wondering if that's like a rest station or if that's my actual campground, although we're only about six miles in. I'm gonna do this little switch back, but check out this cliff, how high up it goes. We are down there, man. This is the view from my campsite at Cottonwood Campground. Let's take a little look at my campsite, shall we? It's up this little nook, it's pretty cool. And there's Got the tent all set up. Can't hammock here. So, I've got a bear box. Got a pole, got the water all set up. Thanks, Jay. All my stuff and uh, not going too hardcore with a full liter tonight. Just gonna do a, for my adult beverage and I have hot chocolate, which is gonna be amazing. Day one, hiking down uh, North Kaibab Trail in the books, about seven miles. Lost about 4,500 feet in elevation. The weather is just amazing. It feels like it's maybe in the 60s. Uh, oh, I see a little marmot up there. Um, and my feet feel okay. My right knee is hurting a little bit. Um, and I have some pain in my quads from going downhill that much. But I'll probably be like begging for that type of pain tomorrow because I have 16 to 17 miles the last nine of which are uphill, about five to 6,000 feet. So all's good, check in later. Started at North Kaibab, came down, and then it looks like the that waterfall was Roaring Spring Junction, came through here, and then down to Cottonwood, that's where I am right now. Tomorrow I go, I'm gonna check out Ribbon Falls, keep moving all the way to Phantom Ranch, that'll be cool. Bright Angel Camp, which is where I wanted to camp, that's seven miles from here. And then keep on moving, and then when I hit Indian Garden, that's kind of when it starts going uphill, and back to Bright Angel Trailhead, that's where I'm parked. That last six miles is pretty much uphill.
actually it's 6 a.m. So the campsite took a little longer to clean up, but I'm on my way out in a perfect world. I, I'm hoping that I get out of here by like 4 p.m. We have a really long day, 17 plus miles. I don't know if you can see, but I don't think you can. There's a couple little headlamps out in the distance and then at the top of this ridge, you can actually see El Tovar, the uh, Grand Canyon and Bright Angel. So visibility is at least 16 miles. It's not sunrise yet, but you can, I, you know, I'm not using my lamp. I can actually see Ribbon Falls from here. Let's see if you can, it's way back there. The bridge was out and it was still dark at the time. So uh, I just, I, I just can't do that. But it's amazing being out here. The whole trip I've probably only seen 30 people. And right now I have the Grand Canyon the Grand fucking Canyon, absolutely to myself. It's insane. About three and a half miles in. See this little dude? There he is. I'm gonna catch you. I made it to Phantom Ranch. Uh, just in time for a poop. He's skinny. Phantom Ranch, they have a uh, cabins you can rent and a dorm you can stay at and a steak dinner that you can do. Uh, I just got a lemonade and mailed some postcards that are delivered via mule. So I found out nine and a half miles to go from Bright Angel. Uh, so here we go. There are the Bright Angel campgrounds. And, you know, despite the fact that they're so close to Phantom Ranch, so I guess you could like grab dinner, um, yeah, as long as you had a reservation, they are not very private. I like my spot better, even though it's seven and a half miles further away. So this is happening. I'm just gonna go over here. This is the first time I've seen the Colorado River. And it's majestic. It's pretty cool. So we're gonna cross that bridge. Holy shit. Jesus. Wow, this is scary. Check out a uh, rescue helicopter. Somebody didn't make it. Check out this insane switchback thing. All the way up that. And then I just passed uh, Indian Garden Campground and I have to get up there. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that in four and a half miles, but four and a half miles to go, that's pretty fucking good. I am at the uh, one and a half mile house. That's right, one and a half miles to go. Oh boy. Mission accomplished, down through there. So basically, all the way on that other side, through the canyon, up that cliff, and then up this trail. All the way up here. That was far, dude. Wow. <laughs>